here I want to talk about blind, intuitive readings. So the good time to use blind, intuitive readings is when you have a big decision to make or something that may not be that big ultimately, but you have some emotional attachments and you're not seeing very clearly what option would be optimal. And the reason to do blind intuitive readings is to cut out the logical thinking that can take us astray at times if it's not lined up with our higher selves. And it's also to ask for help from others who might be able to tune in better because they don't have the same emotional attachment to the particular decision you're making. So you're going to want to ask people who have a meditative practice or who have a heightened sense of intuition or just people you know have lives that you really admire or like or people who know you well and you know from experience that they have your back, they have your best interest in mind, they have big visions for you and support you in what you're trying to accomplish. You don't want people who are worried all the time or who don't seem to have a big vision for you. And then you simply ask them to give you their gut feeling on A or B. You don't even have to say what you have a question about. Or you could say it, you could say, you know, I'm trying to decide what pair of pants I'm trying to wear for my interview tomorrow. And I want to know, do you think option K would be better or option G? It could be as random as that. Um, or you could just say, I have an important choice to make. I'm not going to go into the details, but I have option A or B. Do you have a gut sense as to which I should choose? And it does become easier and smoother once you have a network of friends and acquaintances who are used to having you ask these questions. Because it's really quick. I know we're really busy these days, but all you have to do is say, I have a quick question. Do you think A or B? That's it. And they can respond to you whenever they want. At the end of the day, when they have a few minutes, they just need to tune in and send you a message. Um, so you want to collect a few of these if it's a very important decision. Just ask a number of people and see what you get. And this really helps when you're feeling completely stuck. And if all the decisions that you collect are scattered, then you are really going to need to decide on your own. That's probably the universe saying that this is really up to you or that this is a time when you need to practice your own skills and trust your own sense or that maybe it doesn't even matter so much or maybe all the choices are actually really good. So have fun with this. And it's great to practice these when you don't actually have a high stress decision involved because the more we practice relying on intuitive pathways for our guidance the easier it will become to trust the process and the simpler it will become so let me know how these go or if you do something similar to this you can share with us the way you do it